All right, so that takes us to my Disney titles I picked up. Got a couple of them. Uh, and here we are starting with Bambi. Um, I found this at uh, Pawn, Pawn America for five bucks. Um, not a bad price. Um, doesn't have the slip, which I'm kind of upset about. But then again, you know, some of these Diamond Editions for some reason don't have slips. Um, it's not in the greatest condition. I mean, it's okay, not horrible. Um, you know, the little side clip thing here is broke. Um, I, I've never really liked these. Um, you know, some of them have them, some don't. I might just break this off anyway. But yeah, it doesn't exactly snap. But like I said, I mean, not really too bad. You know, pretty good. Um, I looked at the disc. The disc is, uh, seems okay. Um, this one, obviously, you get the Blu-ray and DVD, I believe. Yeah, and I think they're both in here. I think that's the DVD one, yeah. Um, so, I, I, you know, Bambi was definitely a, a, a favorite of mine as a kid. Um, and uh, for five bucks, you know, I mean, we all know how expensive Disney runs, especially on Blu-ray. And to find it for five bucks, even without the slip, is, is just a really, really good deal. So I grabbed it. You know, like I said, I'm always... I'm slowly building up my Disney collection, and if I come across a, a deal like that for five bucks, I'm gonna grab it. I don't care what Disney film it is, but uh, Bambi definitely a classic. Haven't seen this movie in years. Definitely want to check it out just really to see the uh, picture quality and, and whatnot. But so yeah, Bambi. All right. So next we got the uh, original Disney's The Jungle Book Diamond Edition with the slip cover. I found this at um, uh, Half Price Books, and I think I paid 15 for it, which is actually a really good deal, especially to get the slip and everything with it, and this is in excellent condition, really, really good. A little, couple of little nicks in the corners, but it's really good. Um, I've always liked the Jungle Book, too. This one is definitely a favorite of mine, so it's kind of cool that I'm, I'm finding, like, you know... Uh, a lot of the Disney I've been finding lately just happens to be like favorites of mine as a kid because I'm going to end up trying to get them all you know, even ones that I may not care for much but um, yeah so the Jungle Book um, really good really good movie, uh, really fun a lot of cool characters cool songs, I always remember the songs as a kid but yeah to find a, a Diamond Edition Blu uh, Disney Blu-ray with a slip for 15 bucks that's a really good deal, especially the condition it's in so, yeah, happy to get a couple more uh, Disney titles in this update. You know, it's been a while since I've uh, bought Disney. Because, um, you know, I don't buy them that often just due to the price, but, yeah. All right, of course, had to pick up the, the feature film of The Jungle Book. Um, I just recently watched this the other day with the kids, and, wow, this movie is fantastic. Um, everything about it. Uh, the picture is amazing. The uh, animation of the animals is amazing. Um, it's uh, it's just really, really good. Really good story. Um, the kid they picked for Mowgli just is amazing. Um, the voice cast in this film, of course, if you can see there, you get Bill Murray as uh, as Blue, Ben Kingsley. Um, that guy, I don't know, Idris Elba. I'm, I've never really heard of that guy. Um, Scarlett Johansson. Um, and uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christopher Walken. Uh, King Louie talks King Louie. Um, this movie, like I said, was just great. I mean, everything about it put together so perfectly. Um, and this is uh, uh, this movie was directed by uh, John uh, Favreau. Is this how do you pronounce that? Um, you know, he directed the Iron, film, uh, Iron Man films. Um, and uh, I thought he did a terrific job. I mean, this movie was put together so perfectly. I don't think they could have done it any better. Yes, it was jaw-dropping. Um, check this movie out. Um, it was, like I said, it was just done so perfectly. Such a, a entertaining film. Everything about it was just awesome, stylish, kick-ass. And uh, my son loved it. They've been watching this like crazy the last couple days. Um, such a cool movie. Check this out. Check this out. Highly recommend. All right, so now we, we've hit our A to Z titles. I'm going to try to just skim through these as fast as I can. You know, I don't want this video to be super long, but I uh, found uh, a Christmas Vacation for five bucks at uh, Half Price Books. 
Um, I, I was only ever going to have the original on Blu-ray, and now I just happen to be finding all the uh, other ones on Blu-ray for cheap prices. As you see, they're $5. So, uh, great movie. Great Christmas movie. Funny as hell. All right, next we got uh, Blades of Glory uh, with Will Ferrell and John uh, Heater. Um, this is the movie that uh, got me to like uh, Will Ferrell. I was never a fan of him, but I loved his performance in this movie. I thought this movie was friggin' hilarious. Had to buy it on Blu-ray. I bought this, uh, as you see, there for eight bucks over at uh, High Score Video. Uh, I think it was kind of high of a price, but um, uh, I don't know. It's it was one of those deals that you buy like two and you get one free or something. So I guess it wasn't too bad if you look at it that way. But yeah, hilarious movie, absolutely awesome. Um, uh, next we got uh, Steven Spielberg's Batteries Not Included uh, got this out of Walmart's dump bin kind of a recent release on the Blu-ray um, and uh, I, I liked this movie as a kid it's you know, kind of a cool movie not the greatest but uh, wasn't a you know wasn't too expensive you know I think it was like six bucks or something seven bucks at Walmart's dump bin but uh, I just grabbed it for the hell of it one day because um, uh, I've heard a lot uh, about this uh, uh transfer that looks really sweet on blu-ray so i'm kind of interested in seeing that but yeah kind of a cool movie check it out all right so next we got here the 40 year old virgin one of my favorite comedy films um one of judd apatow's like first big hits and uh, pretty much i think the first movie I ever seen steve carell in um and i never got into the office you know so uh, this is pretty much when i was introduced to him but uh, this movie is just hilarious love it i love the judd apatow cast you know all those guys are just so funny you know Paul Rudd and Seth Rogen and uh, um, um, yeah, uh, the what's his name? The uh, fat dude that gets skinny and then gets fat again and then gets skinny. Jonah Hill. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, this was always a comedy movie I wanted to get on Blu-ray, so I found it at uh, uh, Pawn America for three dollars. So awesome. Yeah, next we got Indecent Proposal. Uh, Demi Moore, Woody Harrelson. <laughs> I don't even really know why I bought this movie. I found it upon America still in the wrap um, for three dollars, and so I just grabbed it for the hell of it. Um, I, it's an okay movie. I like Woody Harrelson. I think it's pretty much why I grabbed it. Um, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still kind of wondering why I picked this movie up. It's okay, I guess. I probably just because it's so cheap for a brand new film still in the package. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever. All right, so the next film I got here is Drive Hard. I'm going to talk about this one for a second. I picked this up at High Score Video. Kind of a high price, but I the only reason I picked this up, I've never even heard of this movie. And uh, I just kind of came across it, and John Cusack and Tom Jane are like two of my favorite actors. And to see that they're both in a film together is kind of what intrigued me about it. Um, I read the back. It sounds kind of cool. Um, like something about like Tom Jane's character used to be like this hotshot like race car driver um and he ended up like retiring from it to start like a normal life and then um somehow gets involved with john cusack in this like heist um so i don't know it just sounds uh sounds like a cool film um and uh like i said being big fans of john cusack and tom jane um i thought what the hell grab it you know like i said it paid 13 bucks for it. maybe it's kind of high but um I just said that you know, the hell with it. You know, I wanted to watch it. Maybe it'll be stupid, but I don't know. You know, it's a, a, there's not many John Cusack, Tom Jane films that uh, I don't like. So uh, kind of kind of interested in watching this here pretty quick. Um, like I said, it just looks kind of cool. If you guys have seen this before, let me know. Maybe it's junk. I don't know, but uh, I just like blind blind bought it and whatever. You know, but uh, yeah, Drive Hard. Um, when, what year did this come out? I don't think it's too old. 2014, it looks like. Yeah, so fairly new, like within the last two years. So uh, I don't know why I never heard of it, but going to be checking it out soon. It looks cool. All right, next we got Wild Hogs. You know, what I've always liked best about this movie is uh, just when I when I seen that they're making this movie about bikers with this particular cast. You know, you get Tim Allen, John Travolta, Martin Lawrence, William H. Macy. I thought that was really cool. I think that's what really... Uh, um, that's what really you know caught my attention when this movie first came out back in the day, and I watched it. And it was really good, really entertaining film, really funny, uh, really cool. I, I I've always liked this movie, and I'm glad I found it on Blu-ray, especially for three bucks. I think I picked this up at Pawn America, uh, but yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine. I wish they would have done the sequel, but apparently, whatever they had planned didn't work, and they kind of shot it down. Whatever they were planning on doing, um, so that's kind of a bummer. But this is a cool movie. Um, definitely check this movie out. Um, 
really fun. I mean, not the greatest performances of like John Travolta and Tim Allen, um, but uh, it's still a really fun movie. So check. All right. Out. So next we got My Father the Hero. Um, Three dollar pickup from uh, uh, Amer Pawn America. Yeah. Um, I uh, you wouldn't think that this kind of movie would be up my alley as far as like movies, but I really like this movie. One of Katherine Heigl's like first films back when she was a lot younger, like I think she was like in the sixteen to twenty year range. Uh, her character is like fourteen, but like I think you know in real life she was like sixteen to twenty. A funny movie. Um, Gerard Depardieu. Depardieu. Um, that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, like one of the only films I like ever seen this dude in. He's just like a hilarious dude. It's like this French dude, but he's just so funny. Um, it's just kind of a cool movie. You know, it's, I don't know if you were, if you want to place this in like a chick flick. I mean, it could very well be a chick flick, but there's just things about it that, uh, that I really liked and I thought was funny. You know, I've, um, you know, like this movie for many, many years. And I just found it for $3 on Blu-ray, you know, kind of an unexpected find. Um, you know, because when I, when I bought this on DVD, I actually had to order it off of Amazon because it's not like something you really come across. So it's kind of weird that I found it on Blu-ray. But, uh, yeah, I just picked it up for the hell of it, 3 bucks. All right, next we got Mrs. Doubtfire, one of Robin Williams' best films. I absolutely love this movie. Um, when me and my son went to Barnes & Noble last week, um, it was... Uh, the only film I found there, um, in their, uh, you know, nine ninety nine section, not a horrible price, pretty decent price for this movie, but, uh, I'm happy. I finally got, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire on Blu-ray. This is definitely one that's been on my list for a while. Um, and I'm really happy I found it. So yeah, great, great movie. I, I love this movie. Everything about it. All right. Next we got Vince Vaughn and Jennifer Aniston in the breakup. This movie was really funny, really cool movie. Not a huge Vince Vaughn fan, but I, I, I think he does good. Uh, I've always liked Jennifer Aniston. She's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, kind of a cool idea for a movie. Um, it's, uh, you know, I think what, what I uh, like best about this movie is it's so realistic <laughs> when it comes to, like, um, you know, breaking up. You know, I experienced stuff in my life. And uh, it just it reminded me a lot of, like, you know, real life. I mean, that's that's what I liked about it best, if that makes any sense. But... Um, I think what I really mean by that is like the fight that they have at the beginning that causes them to break up. It just reminded me so much of like fights that like I've gotten in with the, some of my exes and stuff. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. But uh, cool movie. Um, I've heard, I heard for many years that they were going to make a sequel called The Makeup. <laughs> um, if that was real or not. Um, I, I don't, I doubt that that's even a thing anymore now. But uh, anyway, I found this. Um, where did I find this at? Uh, can't remember where I picked this up at. Still sealed. Eh. The hell did I get this? Walmart or something? Probably. Walmart? I don't know. Anyway. But, uh, yeah. Cool movie. Really funny. All right. Next, we got The Bench Warmers. Rob Schneider, David Spade, John Heater. Love this movie. So funny. So good. Um, I mean, I'm happy I found this on Blu-ray. Um, this uh, was picked up at um, uh, my, my, my high score video so I bought three movies there uh, this one uh, Blades of Glory and uh, the Drive Hard movie um, so this one of these actually ended up being free um, so but yeah I mean cool movie super funny really really entertaining happy to find it alright and we got The Princess Bride uh, with Carrie Ellis um, I have never seen this movie ever in my life um always wanted to so I love Carrie Ellis um, I, I really bought this for my girlfriend because she really likes this movie and uh, isn't Fred Savage in this movie I thought is he uh, Fletcher <laughs> um, why do I think Fred Savage is in this movie I don't know why I'm even thinking that is he I don't know I know Andre the Giant is <laughs> Andre the Giant's in this movie but anyway, um, yeah, The Princess Bride. Really don't know a lot about it. I know it's an older movie um, from the 80s, I believe. Um, what year is this movie? You gotta look at the very tiny print. 1988? Is it? Is it a three or an eight? Eight, I think. Anyway, yeah. So I picked this up for my girlfriend. And yeah, so I didn't own this on DVD. So I figured grab it on Blu Roy. So guys, Dow's here. And I'm uh, sort of uh, 
show you a movie that um, my dad was showing a movie, so I'm going to show you a movie that I picked up. And, um, me and my dad were at Best Buy to pick this movie up. It's um, Rango. Some of you guys might have heard of this movie. It's, uh, it's a pretty good movie, one of my faves. And, uh, it's about this lizard who had um, uh, his own people, actually, but you don't get a really good scene with him. So, um, uh, so what happened he gets like like he gets lost in the desert stuff so he has to like there's this one he meets this dude that tells him where this place is when he goes there there's some there's, there's a town that needs water it's all about water there's people that trick people and stuff like that it's a really good movie thought i might pick it up because it's one of my favorites so yeah all right just about done here just got two left um, this is definitely one of my favorite pickups um, in this update, the never ending story on Blu-ray. I held off on buying this on Blu-ray because again, it was one of those situations where I had one and two and like a little, you know, dual pack on DVD. So I didn't want to buy this individually because then I, I would you know, kind of feel like I'd, I'd be forced to have to buy the second one right away, you know, that sounds stupid. But anyway, um, this movie, has been years since I've seen this movie. You know, we're probably talking, I you know, uh, I don't know, maybe about 25 years or something since I've seen this movie. And it was always a favorite of mine um, as a kid. Um, everything about, about this movie I loved, you know, the music, the, the main title song. And it was so interesting to revisit this movie, especially on Blu-ray. Um, cause it's just, it's weird. Like, you know, when you see this movie as a, like a 10 year old and then you watch it again, 25 years later as, you know, like a 34 year old, it's, it's such a different world. And like looking back now, it's just funny. Like, like, it's just so like, you know, cheesy and like, just like the, the special effects were like, it, you know, the special effects at the time were definitely up and coming. Um, it was definitely, you know, like new, uh, new development and whatnot, but you know, compared to what we got nowadays, it's just funny, like, looking back then, how kind of cheesy it looked. But I do not mean that in a negative way whatsoever. I mean, that's what makes this movie so cool is just the cheesiness of it. Um, it's just it's such a great movie. It was so cool to watch this movie after so many years. I watched it with my son. He absolutely loved it. Just such a great, great movie. The sequel's pretty good, too. I'm going to buy that one because, um, uh, you know, it's uh, got Jonathan Brandis in it. Who of course was you know the kid from It, um, who played young uh, Bill, um, who I met actually. Uh, I met him when I was young. Um, got his autograph and everything. But um, yeah, this movie was so cool. Like I said, to revisit on Blu-ray, it looks terrific on Blu-ray. Absolutely fantastic. Even uh, like when you compare it to DVD, you know, obviously compared to VHS, you know, way way better. But even to DVD, what a huge difference. Really cleaned this up well. But uh, I'm so happy I have this movie now on Blu-ray. I got part two in my Amazon card. I'll be getting that pretty quick here um, on Blu-ray as well. But uh, love this movie. It is so, so good. So happy I, I bought this on Blu-ray. So fun to watch it again. All right, so that takes us to the last title in this update, The Phantom. I saved this one for the end uh, for a particular reason. Um, now, uh, th this particular movie, I bought this movie because... Um, of the deal I found. Um, this movie is an out-of-print movie. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it before. It's, it's an okay movie. You know, it's kind of cool. It's got uh, Billy Zane in it, you know, from, uh, you know, like Titanic, um, who, who plays the Phantom. And, you know, it's kind of a cool movie, um, superhero movie. Uh, but this movie is currently out of print. And uh, I found this at Half Price Books for 25 bucks, 20% off. So it was like $20. And... Uh, that's really the only reason I, I want to get it. Now, I had it in my Amazon cart. You know, I was going to buy the uh, DVD of it, which is like $5. Um, but uh, I, I didn't even know that this was on Blu-ray. And when I seen it, it had a $25 uh, price on it. And, uh, and it said OOP. Um, you know, because, you know, Half Price Books, you know, they check their titles there. They know what's out of print, what's not. So it said out of print on the, t um, on the tag. And uh, I was like, well, that's pretty cool. When I looked it up, this movie brand new goes for $100 uh, right now. So it's definitely one of the best pickups I've come across. Now, used, I found it in like the $60 to $70 range on Amazon. So to get it for 20 bucks is definitely a really good deal. And I've been wanting to get the movie. I mean, it's not one of those type of movies I like so much that I'd I, I, I pay $20 for. 
on Blu-ray. Um, but um, being out of print and uh, you know as good of a deal as as it is, I found, I picked it up. Now, I mean, I could definitely turn around and try to sell this now, but what the hell? You know, twenty bucks, it's twenty bucks, and it's kind of a cool movie. It's got a cool cover on it. Um, it's been a while since I've seen it, um, so I'm excited to watch it again, especially on Blu-ray. But uh, I just wanted, like I said, I wanted to save this for the end, just because it's like definitely one of the best uh, finds that I've. Uh, had that i just wanted to share with you so yeah the phantom kind of a cool movie check this out well there you have it everybody so uh there's my uh latest blu-ray update um kind of a big one like i said one of the biggest ones i've had in a long time i i don't know why i had i got so many movies in the last two weeks i uh, just i guess just found a lot of good deals um so uh but uh anyway um, there are, uh, some new movies, uh, some kick-ass movies coming out this Tuesday. Uh, keep, uh, keep an eye out for my next video. I'm going to be posting a Blu-ray shopping video on Tuesday because, uh, there's, uh, one big title that's, uh, hitting Blu-ray, uh, and video on, uh, Tuesday coming up. Um, and I'm definitely uh, going to go pick that up. So I'm going to do a shopping video of it. There's also, I think a couple other titles that are coming out that day too, that, uh, I definitely want to pick up. Um, so, but anyways, uh. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys like the titles I got. Hey, buddy. Hey. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the titles. And uh, uh, please go ahead and uh, put a little like on this video. Drop a comment below. And subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Tommy Starr. You guys have a good day.